हेलो एवरीवन सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक व्हिच वी विल बी गोइंग टू स्टडी इज अबाउट द ग्रोथ रेट्स इन दिस टॉपिक व्हाट वी विल बी स्टडिंग इज अबाउट द टू टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रोथ रेट्स दैट इज एक्सपोनेंशियल एंड अर्थमेटिक व्हाट आर द फॉर्मूलास एंड वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दिस इन डिटेल इन दीज स्लाइड्स ओनली सो इन ग्रोथ रेट्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्लांट्स स्पेसिफिकली सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द फर्स्ट स्लाइड ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट वी विल discuss about the definition of growth rate so what is growth rate growth rate is increase in growth per unit time so the increase in growth per unit time is the growth rate there are two types of growth rate which we will be discussing that is arithmetic and geometrical so we will discuss first the arithmetic growth rate and then we will discuss the geometrical growth rate in arithmetic growth rate what is what is given is the rate of growth is constant the rate of growth is constant for example in this particular diagram we are representing that this is the constant part and this uh, will be in all of the hierarchies of the lower growth so there will be addition but the one thing will be remain constant that is the growth rate of growth will remain the constant there is increase in growth which occurs in arithmetic progression for example it will be 2 it will be 4 it will be 6 and it will be 8 so this will be it, uh, this will be in arithmetic progression that is why it is called as the arithmetic growth rate because it is in the 2 4 6 8 pattern the arithmetic growth rate is found in the root and shoot elongation so they are found in the root and shoot elongation and the formula for this is lt equals to l0 plus rt so this is a graph which is representing representing this is the height of the plant and this is the time and the graph is in the straight line so this is the representation of how a growth rate arithmetic growth rate looks like and this is the diagram which is showing a clear picture of how the increase in growth occurs in the arithmetic progression next we will be discussing about the geometric growth rate so the initial growth is slow and increase rapidly thereafter so there will be there will be initial growth is very slow and every cell divides every cell in the grow, geometric growth rate divides the daughter cell grow and divide and the grand daughter cells that result into exponential growth so here is a graph which is depicting that this is the weight of the organ or size of the organ and this is the time and this graph is showing this is the log phase the first part of this is the log phase then comes the lag phase and then the exponential phase and then the stationary phase so log phase when the plant or the cells which is trying to adapt in the environment then comes the lag phase in which the plant will adapt to the environment and there will be growth then there will be an exponential phase and after this there will be a stationary phase so the daughter cells grow and divide and the grand daughter cells that result into the exponential growth geometric growth is common in unicellular organisms when growing in nutrient rich medium so they are very common in the unicellular organisms and this is a sigmoidal growth curve which is representing here this we they are talking about here is this only this graph is this only this consists of fast dividing exponential phase and the stationary phase stationary phase is when the growth is in the uh, like it will be in the straight stationary phase and then after this there will be a death phase it is typical of most living organism in their natural environment so uh, this is the basic graph in which all the organisms grow in this phase only there will be a log phase then lag phase then there will be an exponential phase and after this there will be a stationary phase so this is the reference from where i have taken this is the flow chart which is showing that this is the geometric growth first in the initial phases the growth is very slow but the every cell divides and they increase rapidly for example uh, from the first stage to the last stage there is a cell division there is a cell division it is very the cell division increases and uh, the growth from the initial growth to the end the final growth it is the number of cells which is dividing each time first there will be two then it will be four then six then eight and after this it will be multiple cells so this was about the geometric growth rate 
then comes the exponential growth so this is the formula for the exponential growth so here w1 is the final size w0 is the initial size r which is in uh, the upper part of this is it is the growth rate then t is the time of the growth and e is the base of logarithm that is 2.71828 so this was about the exponential growth then comes the absolute rate so we will be discussing the relative rate and the absolute rate so what is the absolute rate it is the measurement in comparison of total growth per unit time total growth per unit time in case of plants only so the measurement and comparison of total growth per unit time is the absolute growth rate then comes the relative growth rate it is the growth of given system per unit time expressed on the common basis so this was all about the growth rate so these are some of the references from where i have made the slides and taken the content thank you